Hey guys, Zulkar is here and I did not plan on making this video but here I am. So what happened was there's a new development in the Pro Jared situation and by that I mean he uploaded a video explaining himself. And now you may be asking Zulk why do you keep talking about this guy? Because I watched his videos for a long time. And I was a fan of his videos. I think I still am. So here's what happened in his explanation. So in that video the thing he addresses the most is the allegation of him sending knowingly sending you know nudes and soliciting nudes from underage fans. He explains himself saying that he did not know about it and he actually provides proof. Could these proofs have been doctored? Yes, but do I believe his proofs? Yes, I do. I'm just gonna say it right now, I do. Because then in the modern world there is always a chance that someone could be lying. And, and if you have to say that well he could be lying, well the same holds true for those who accused him of the first place. And judging by everything that has been going on, judging by every angle he presented, it doesn't look good because some of the things he said can be confirmed. Like he said, the guys who first came out saying that when they were 15, Jared encouraged them to send him news and Jared sent his own news to them. Yeah, those guys have deleted their accusations and that much is fact. And Progenet had links a blog where they are talking about contradictory things. So yeah, not looking good for them. What's my stance on it? I wish to believe Progenet. Because again, I watch his content. And he goes on for 45 minutes defending himself. And it is a pretty convincing defense, not gonna lie. And I also want I also want to say that I feel kinda bad for the guy because come on even I kinda jumped on to bandwagon and hated on him. Even though I had no proof, I still have no proof. But the evidence he gave like I said, in this day and age every evidence can come into doubt, but at least he provided evidence more than just screenshots of DMs he actually provided receipts which state that the guy whom he was talking with the guys who accused him of knowingly asking for news from them he said his side of the story his proof proving that he in fact did not know that they lied to him about being underage and that's it like I said I feel sorry about it and I know I didn't really do much because bigger names than I could ever hope to be like I think it was physical and a big portion of the drama or commentary community as I like to call it on YouTube jumped in on the situation and now he provides a pretty solid defense for himself and I would like to side with him again I would if even more definitive proof comes along proving his guilt I'm gonna bash him again that's just how I work evidence above all but in spite, I say that, but I do not practice what I preach. Because back when the whole thing started, I did not have evidence of his guilt. 
Yeah, they still best on him. Do I did say that? Well, do I did say that I would uh, that I'm waiting for evidence? The truth is, I got emotional and best on him. I had an emotional reaction, and that's just how mob mentality works sometimes, I guess. Is it wrong? Yeah, 100%. This cancel culture everyone keeps talking about these days. It's not really a new thing. Do I hate it? Of course I do. Do I support it? Hell no. But one thing everyone seems to be doing these days whenever they talk about cancel culture is treat it like it's something new. It's not. At least not entirely. What cancel culture basically is when you boil the when you boil it down is mob mentality and mob mentality has existed since the dawn of time like it existed for longer than you me or our grandparents or even their grandparents it just shifts form at first it was like Mob mentality equals mob justice. There was no justice system. If someone gets accused of something and enough people buy into the, I guess you can say cancel culture or hate train in this case, they get stoned to death or beaten to death or exiled. That's how the primitive society is worked. Then it was what we call lynch mob, delivering vigilante justice, and that's not always a good thing. Right now, the justice system is better in the world than it has ever been, and thus mob mentality has taken the form of cancel culture. Even a few years ago, it took the form of public harassment and ridicule. Like in Japan, if someone was accused, I don't know what the situation of it is now, but like a decade or two ago. When someone was accused of a heinous crime and they were proven innocent, it was seen as a failure of the justice system. And those guys, those guys who were accused but proven to be innocent, yeah, their lives became living hell. So much so that they wanted to die more than keep living. And right now, these lynch mobs. This mob mentality, this collective harassment, it's taken the form of cancel culture. And as unbiased as I want to be, when it comes to stuff like this, I can't. I'm human, and the pro-Jared situation kind of hit close to home, in a sense, because, like I said, I grew up watching this guy's videos. I still enjoy his videos, and. It made it really difficult for me to be impartial. I was biased, and I had an emotional reaction. One thing Prozer talks about in his videos is cognitive dissonance. A lot of people, when confronted with something they don't believe in, will suffer from cognitive dissonance, and it would be like a cog that was spinning in his, their heads suddenly starts spinning backwards. Yeah, that's what happened with me. In a sense, because I looked up to the guy, and when all these accusations came about, it was a cognitive dissonance. Again, am I trying to shift blame? No, I'm just saying what I want to to get stuff off my chest because it's what I want to say. I'm not making excuses or anything, and. I know that I played no role in the whole thing, but I still feel bad to myself. Even though no one took me seriously, I'm pretty sure it may be one guy, but that's really nothing compared to the huge hate mob that formed around Rosales. But I still kind of spoke up against him, and I feel bad for it. So yeah, I'm making this video not. To appease the crowd or do anything. This video 
is for my own sake, not for anyone else's. That's what all of my videos are actually. I make my own videos for my own sake. Because I want to make them. And this time it's no different. I want I was feeling bad for the stuff I said in my previous video. No matter how non-effective non-effectual they might have been. I know that's not a word, the correct word is ineffectual. But still, even though my videos had no effect on the whole thing and I know this, I still made those videos. And even if no one watched it, I think one or two guy watched it, maybe Hair Monster probably watched it, but whatever. Even if no one had watched it, even if that video sat at zero views, I still would have felt bad about it because I made it. Now you may be saying, Zook, you probably got duped again. And that's a possibility, but no matter how many times I go back on my word, one thing I said from the very start. And that is, I like Roderick's content and I want to believe that he is innocent here. And now that he has offered a pretty logical and well thought out defense, I want to believe him. And I am making this video again for my own sake, to make myself not feel bad. And is it helping? Yeah, totally. It is totally helping. So, is there anything else I wanted to say? Probably not really, just go watch the video. And one thing to have said in his video, the one I keep mentioning and the one I will link in the description below, is that the next time you see someone getting hated on by everyone, ask yourself this. Did they do anything to deserve it? What's their side of the story? And I think I'll take that as a moral. I am going to take that to heart. Even if it turns out to be a manipulation tactic, it is, I believe, that it is a good lesson. Whenever something comes up, it's always, always a good idea. No matter who's saying, telling you this, it's always a good idea to check both sides of a story. And I will be doing that from now on. I will try to do that. But again, I'm not giving any promises for the sole reason of mob mentality. Cancel culture is not new. It's just the form mob mentality has taken thanks to the internet landscape. And People who are saying we should stop cancel culture, I agree with you, we should. But it's not that easy my friend, because it's been here for longer than any of us have been on this earth. It's been long, it's been here since the wild west, it's been here since even before that. It's been here since the Roman Empire. And it's not going to go away anytime soon or that easily. We'll, we'll keep trying though. We will definitely keep trying to get rid of it. That's all we could do at this point, I think. Just keep trying. It's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. But we can keep trying. And because I want to talk about all this, that's why I picked Empyreon. Because I can just zone out to Empyreon. Especially this map. When I play this map, I can just zone out and talk about things. I can't do that when I'm playing something like Brutal Doom or Illuminators or anything else. That's just how it be. So. Mob mentality bad, we can all agree on this, but it's don't hate on people because of cancel culture, because they part partook in cancel culture, no, that's how it spreads, that's how mob mentality works, 
and the only way we can solve it is I don't really know. Expert scientists studying psychology, anthropology and law I guess have been asking that question how to get rid of mob mentality from for a long time and a bunch of guys sitting in front of their computer screens writing about it writing about cancel culture on the internet isn't going to be able to come up with an answer alone it's going to take time but hey we are human we get emotional and sometimes we don't want to i don't know move away from our beliefs we aren't perfect we aren't this perfect logical species what i i guess what i'm saying is don't hate on people no that's not what i'm saying at all i'm saying whenever you hate on people just think first and i know i'm preaching this and i don't follow it myself it's hard i guess we should try that's all we can do try that's all anyone can do try to overcome their fallacies so yeah that's it for this video i don't think i have anything else to say i probably didn't say i feel like there's more for me to say but i don't know what i feel like i'm reiterating the same points over and over again but it's fine like i said we are human we aren't perfect we make mistakes Roger himself also made mistakes in this whole situation but i'm not going to hate on him anymore what am i going to do about it nothing i'm just going to go back and watch his videos because they are hella entertaining and if this happens again if this happened again i am probably going to do for victim to cancel culture again and get angry at the guy but i'll try not to no i mean it genuinely i will try not to because that's all i can do that's all anyone can do we can make promises we can make grandiose promises to go against things we've been we've evolved to do we can't go against our biological programming with a snap just because we say you know what from today i am going to go against this that's not how it works it's a slow process and it's going to take time and i'll keep trying and like i said i'm probably not going to be able to do it first try but i'll keep trying and that's it it sounds bad but that's all anyone can do so yeah apologies i guess and that's it for this video if you like this video be sure to leave a like comment and or subscribe dislike it if you hated it i'm zuka des and i'll see you next time